After one city employee conviction, Councilman Stokes is worried that there may other be some other cases of misfit funds. And this all while some road conditions are inconvenient or sometimes even dangerous. Poor road conditions, stalled construction work, and blinking lights where signals should be cover the city. The streets are bad and uh, uh, lighting issue and all the infrastructure and uh, the different things that's going on. Sites like this one on Mill Street, bridge repairs stopped after Councilmember Kenna Stokes says the workers have not been adequately paid. And you see near constant work everywhere. Uh, it's definitely a hassle. Stokes is skeptical of potentially even more funds being stolen from Jackson after former city employee Keisha Sanders was convicted in January for fraud, obtaining tens of thousands of grant funds intended for projects around the city. How many more people are stealing, but they're not being prosecuted? An independent investigation will show where the money is and where it's going. And the conditions the city faces are potentially dangerous to drivers, especially with intersections like these, treated like a four-way stop. You might have some impaired drivers, you might have some older drivers, and uh, just get a little confused there. That's why you got to get these um, lights and everything squared away. Driving in downtown Jackson more like an obstacle course than safe streets in some areas. You go maybe like seven miles an hour. Uh, if you don't, you'll break an axle. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm aware of what you're talking about. And those lights are out all the time. Stokes believes that a full investigation would ensure that funds are not misspent. Reporting live outside City Hall, Grayson Gordon, 16 WEPT News.